Hello everyone. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at the camera tools that are available in Promethean's Active Inspire software. There are three ways we can access the camera tools. Up in the toolbar, click on Tools, the drop down menu has Camera, and then here we see our five options. The same can be found by clicking on the Tools icon in our toolbox, Camera, same five choices and we can access those tools through the desktop tools. Regardless of how you access the tools, we have five different choices here. Area Snapshots will open a rectangular shadow box which you can move and resize. Everything within that rectangle will be captured. The next choice is Point to Point Snapshot. If you have an odd shaped image and you don't want a lot of extra white space around it, or perhaps there's text encroaching on the image which you don't want to capture, you can use the point to point option. Freehand allows you to draw around the visual content you want to capture. Window snapshot will take a picture of everything in the active window. Full screen snapshot captures everything that is seen on the monitor screen. We're going to take a look at this pen practice activity. Perhaps you have younger or less experienced users and you want to give them some practice using the active pen on the board. And I want to take a picture of this cute lion and save that. So I'm going to go to Tools, Camera, and the first one I'm going to do is the Area Snapshot. And when I do that, here's my shadow box. It's too big. So I'm going to grab the edges and just pull that in and take the other corner and pull that in. All right, that's everything I want. Now I have to choose where I'm going to put that. I can add it to the current page of my flip chart. I can add a new page to the flip chart. I can put it on the clipboard, which will allow me to paste it anywhere. Adding that to my resources will make it available to me to pull into other flip charts at a later time. Shared resources will make that image available to other people in my network. I'm going to add this to a new page and there it is. If I look at my page browser I can see that it's added a new page at the end of my flip chart. I'm going to fill that so we see there are the edges. Click on the select tool, click on the image and we can resize that just as we would any other image or object that we might have in a flip chart. I'm going to go back to my pen practice one more time and we're going to try one of those other choices. Let's do point to point. Point to point is just you just click, move your mouse, click, move your mouse. Maybe um, this isn't the best option the point-to-point -point is good if you have an object that has straight lines but is in a regular shape. And go out to here, close up the box, everything within the white will be captured and I'm going to put that on my clipboard because I want to add that to my last page again. And I'm just going to go up to edit, paste, and there it is. Click, drag it around, click, change the size, there's another one. Last one I'm going to show you here is the freehand snapshot and we simply take our mouse and draw around there. If you have an object and you really don't want that extra white around the edge too much, perhaps you're going to layer some images and you want to get as close as possible to your edges then that's a good choice for you. We're just going to quickly draw around there and you can see everything within the white will be captured. Everything in the gray will not. Close up the edge and I'm going to put this on my clipboard again. Add that to my last page. Paste it in and you can see different ways to capture the same visual content. The next thing we're going to take a look at is this clock. This is a page from a flip chart that I got from Promethean Planet which will help my students learn to tell time. The problem is that 
my students can't reach this high up on the board to draw in the hands of the clock. So I need this to be smaller. My first option would be to check in the property browser and see if this is an image that I can resize. And it's not. It's on the background and I can't do anything with it. So I'm simply going to delete the text and take a picture of it. So here's my camera tool and I want to keep the some of that blue. I like that blue. So I'm going to just extend the handles and I want this to go into my resources. I want this to be available because kids work on telling time all the time. So I'm just going to name it. I'm going to name it clock face. Click on save and then go over here into the resource browser. Click on my resources and there it is. Now I can go back to my page browser choose any page of any flip chart, go into my resources, drag the clock face in onto any page of any flip chart. And it's still too big, but because it's an image now, I can resize that. Bring it down low where students will be able to reach. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at this title page from the same flip chart that I got the clock face from. Uh, pretty boring. I want to jazz it up a little bit. I want to add a, some clock pictures. So I'm going to go to the desktop tools and here's a picture of Big Ben. I thought it would be great to add it to the page. So I'm going to go over here, mouse over my desktop tools icon, and then the camera. That's a nice rectangular shape. So I'm going to click there and here's my little rectangle. I'm going to move that over. that's set. Now I know I want this to go on the current page. I remember where I am in my flip chart. So click that. Now we need to go back into the flip chart and there's Big Ben. So there we go. I would probably perk this up a little bit more, but that's already much better. Let's say I have a topic and I want to pull in some information from a website. Maybe we're working on endangered animals. And here's a lovely website about the endangered Pacific Northwest tree octopus. So I want to take a picture of this. And here's my wonder wheel. Wherever you left it the last time you were working is wherever it will appear on your desktop. I want to move that out of the way. And I don't want to have to type all this information or put a link to the website. I just want to take a picture of this. And this is another good one for that. Oops. Another good one for the area snapshot. So I'm going to move my rectangle over. I want to get the lovely ribbon there. And here we do need to be careful that the wonder wheel is not in the way. But the camera snapshot window won't make any difference when you click that image. So here we go. That looks good. And I want this on a new page. Click, go back to our flip chart. And here we are. Last page has our image of the web page all about the endangered Pacific Northwest tree octopus. So I hope that gives you a good overview of the camera tools. Very handy for bringing content into your flip chart especially handy because most of these images you'll probably never need again. So there's no reason to save a file if it's something you're only going to use once. Take a picture of it, pop it into your flip chart, and you're good to go.